So about a year ago at this point, I tested plastic trim restorers because my biggest gripe with those products is the product never lasts. You can apply a plastic trim restorer and you're lucky if that product lasts a week. Um, so with these tire shine coatings that we're dealing with in this video, it's gonna be largely the same thing. Is there a tire shine out on the market that actually lasts and looks good for an extended period of time? Now with that said, I have multiple versions of the same manufacturer's product here. So from 303, I have three different versions here. From Meguiar's, I have two different versions here. And from Adams, I also have two different versions here. And what I'm trying to prove out by buying um, let's say the Meguiar's, you know, two different versions of Meguiar's tire shine here. This product right here, this hybrid ceramic tire shine, I want to say this was like $14.50. This is like their latest and greatest tire shine that's come out on the market from Meguiar's. This product here is their hot shine tire coating. This product was about $6.50. So how does this product compare for $6.50 to a product that is 1450 and they're both from the same manufacturer. So how do these com product compare for, to one another? So Adams compared to Adams, 303 compared to 303. It, are these the same formulations just in different bottles? That's one of the other things I wanna set out to prove here. So with that in mind, I have, like I said, three different versions of 303. I have the 303 original formula. I have 303's tire coating and protectant. I also have 303's high gloss tire shine and protectant. For Meguiar's, like I said, I have the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic tire shine. I have Meguiar's hot shine tire coating. From Adams, I have Adams Graphene VRT. I also have Adams Graphene Tire Dressing. Rounding out the rest of my selections here, I have Chemical Guys VRP. I also have Turtle Wax. This one is a mouthful. Hybrid Solutions Graphene Acrylic Tire Shine Spray Coating. Yeah. From Ammo, I have Ammo Mud. Finally, I have uh, also have a silicone-based um, plastic trim and tire dressing. This. This product is largely a silicone-based tire dressing from Chernova. Um, this is gonna correlate with the other silicone-based trim restorers that I used in the previous video. Um, I found literally zero difference between uh, this Chernova product, a lithium product, the Chemical Guys product, and a 3D trim care product. They are all pretty much the exact same formulation in a different bottle. Finally, the last one rounding it out here is going to be Exoforma Permashine tire coating. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a vehicle up in the air, get the tire clean and dry, and I'm going to start applying each one of these products to a wheel on this car. All right, so to do my durability testing, this is what I'm doing. I took the wheel on this Honda and I divided it into four different sections. So with the valve stem at the top of the wheel, this section right here from 9 to 12 o'clock, this is always going to be a bare control with nothing on it. Um, the other three sections on this tire, I'm going to coat with one of these products. So I did that to every wheel on this vehicle. So we're going to have three different products on each wheel that we can see A, B, C, how they compare with one another. Um, what I'm also going to do is probably pull the wheel off and just set them all side by side so we can get a good visual as far as how they all perform compared to one another. So like the wheel on the passenger side rear corner, we're going to be able to put right next to the one on the driver's side and see how the products perform against one another. As far as how I prep this area, um, it's very, very simple. What I did was I first cleaned it with undiluted Simple Green, cleaned the tire, with a scrub brush, undiluted simple green, scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. After that, I went through and I used Meguiar's uh, wheel brightener. This is an acid-based wheel cleaner. I diluted it at three to one, did the exact same procedure. So sprayed it down with the uh, Meguiar's wheel cleaner, hit it with a scrub brush, and then let it dry overnight. And now we are ready to apply each one of these products. Um, the biggest thing as far as longevity with these products is you have to be sure that the tire is clean. Um, the tires on this vehicle in particular are really only about 2,000 miles old. They've only been on here a few months. So if the tire that you're dealing with has been on the vehicle for let's say five years, 
you need to make sure you're doing your due diligence to make sure that tire is clean before you put a dressing on it just to ensure that that dressing lasts as long as it should so that's what i'm going to go through and do here i'm going to apply a coating to each section on each one of these tires and uh, we're going to have some time elapse and then we're going to take a look at the results so it's been about an hour since I got everything coated here, guys. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys what everything looks like after it's been initially applied. So immediately after it's been applied, what does everything look like? Um, some of these are super high gloss. Other ones have a matte sort of finish to them. And this is one of those things that comes down to personal preference. You know, some people like a super high gloss, other people like a matte style finish. So really gonna depend on what you want here. I'm um, taking a look at the individual products. So this is the Adams Graphene VRT. This is the Adams Graphene Tire Dressing. This is the Chemical Guys uh, VRP. As far as the Adams Graphene Tire Coating versus the VRT, I don't see huge differences initially as far as gloss. Um, it's pretty apparent that the, the Chemical Guys is a matte style product rather than a gloss. Um, moving over to this one, everything on this wheel is a 303 product. So this is the 303 tire coating. This is the 303 high shine uh, tire dressing. And this is just regular old 303. And I'll be honest, I personally like the, three, the look at the 303 probably the best. I think this is going to be the highest gloss initially in the test. But taking a look here, there are distinct differences between the th three products from 303 initially. So this wheel I have back here, uh, this is the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Tire Dressing. This is the Meguiar's, I think it's Hot Wheels or Hot Rims or something like that. It's the cheapest thing that I could find. I think it was like five bucks for that can. Uh, finally, this one up here is the Turtle Wax uh, Ceramic Tire Dressing. So this final tire that I have here is, this is the Permashine. This is marketed as an up to one year tire coating. So we're gonna see how long this stuff lasts. Um, this here is Trenova. This is like a silicone tire dressing. And the final one up there at the top that is gonna be the Ammo Mud. So those are the products we're taking a look here, guys. Here's what they look like after they are initially applied, but Overall, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how everything looked in direct sunlight so you can kind of make your own comparisons one versus the other. So one of the big frustrations for this testing for me was just the lack of results from one product to the next. And I don't think there's anything wrong with my testing because I actually ran my testing in triplicate to in effort to try and get an answer here. Um, the first test that I ran, I simply you know, washed and dried the tire, as you guys saw, applied one coating of each product to each section of the tire. And all of these products I have here on the bench were gone within three days. I mean, gone to the point that you couldn't tell them apart from the control. At that point, what I did was I went back, completely cleaned the tire again. I applied each product again to the exact same spot on each tire. And then after a 24 hour dry period, I applied another coat of each product and I was able to get each product to last about a week. But what you have to remember here is the point of failure for each one of these products is gonna be very, very subjective to the gloss level that you want. So for example, the easiest one to pick on is gonna be the 303. This is the highest gloss um, product in the test. This is 303's high gloss tire shine. Well. This product will last at a super high gloss level for about two, maybe three days. With two coats, it will last on the tire for about a week. So as a person, do you want a super high gloss level or do you want something that's just going to be there? And that is what's gonna be dependent on your situation. So a product like this that you want a super high gloss level, you're really not gonna get more than a couple days out of every one of these products I have shown here on the bench. Um, there is one exception to the rule in this test. Um, but before I get to that, there's one thing that I sort of wanna call out here and that is Meguiar's. So this is Meguiar's latest and greatest consumer grade tire shine. You know, they're hybrid ceramic uh, tire shine. I wanna say I paid $14.50 for 
16 ounces of this product. This Meguiar's Hot Shine tire coating has been on the market, I wanna say 15 to 20 years at this point. As far as longevity is concerned, I saw absolutely zero discernible difference between the two of these products. Um, this product right here, you get 15 ounces for about $6.50. That's just what I paid on Amazon. So for the performance that you get here, why not just apply this product like two or three times? To me, at a $15 price point, this product doesn't make any financial sense. Um, honestly, the only drawback in the, to this product, and this was the only product in the testing that I had any sort of issue with, this product does sling. So if you want to avoid slinging, do not use this product. But as far as longevity is concerned, it will last just as long as this product or just as long as anything else I have here on the bench if you can stand a lower gloss level. So my overall pick for who makes the longest lasting tire shine, it's gonna be Exoforma Permashine. Um, this stuff by far and away outlasted everything I have on this bench behind me. Um, it was not even close. This product I got to last well over a month. I tested it for six weeks, twice. These products I have behind me, no matter how I applied them, I really could not get them to last longer than a week. So for longevity, this is gonna be your choice. Now with that said, it, is, it does have a super high gloss to it and they give you instructions on how to reduce the gloss level, but they flat out tell you if you try to reduce the gloss level, it may reduce the life of the coating. So keep that in mind if you're gonna use this product. And the other thing you need to keep in mind if you're gonna use this product, on the back of the bottle, they had a sticker that said, go watch our instructions on YouTube on how to apply this product before you apply it to your car. So naturally I did. They have a seven minute YouTube video on how to apply this stuff. And they spend about four minutes showing you how to clean the tire. So getting the tire clean before you're gonna use this coating is absolutely imperative. You cannot use this stuff on a dirty wheel and tire and expect it to hold up like it's supposed to. They claim that this product will last up to a year. I could see it lasting a year on a garage queen, but it's not gonna last a year on a daily driver. Um, two months is pretty realistic. I don't see it going much longer than two months on a daily driven vehicle. So guys, I will have links in the description to all the different tire coating products that I have here, in addition to the Permashine. So as always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like. If you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.